Welcome to this video, Accessibility and Multi-Language Features in Microsoft Office. In this video, we will consider tools available in Microsoft Office that are oriented to improving usability for persons with no or low vision, hearing loss or deafness, neurodiversity, a learning disability, mobility or physical disabilities, or mental health conditions. Some of these tools are also very useful for those learning English as an additional language. In this video, we will look at the accessibility tools available in the Office Toolbar, that some of them are available in the Review menu. We'll consider the Speech-to-Text feature, or the ability to dictate documents. We'll look at the Immersive Reader that can enhance the reading experience and improve readability. We'll also look at the accessibility features in Microsoft Edge, as well as how to access additional technical accessibility support. First, let's consider the accessibility tools available in the toolbar. There is the Zoom command, indicated by a small magnifying glass. This function is also available at the bottom right of the screen as a sliding bar to increase or decrease the size of the text. There's the Immersive Reader feature that looks like an open book, and this can improve and enhance the reading experience, and we will get into more detail about those features soon. The Immersive Reader command is also available at the bottom right of the screen as a little open book icon. There is the Read Aloud feature, which allows you to hear the text being read to you, and is available in several different locations in Microsoft Office. It's indicated by a capital letter A with sound waves emanating off to the right. There's also the accessibility checker, which looks something like a clock with downward and rightward facing arrows. This allows you to determine if the document you've created meets accessibility guidelines. These tools may be added to your toolbar easily by clicking on the small downward facing arrow navigating to Options, in this case Word Options, and to the Quick Access Toolbar, where you'll see that the menu on the left has a list of tools with icons that can then be added to the column on the right, and they will show up in your toolbar. Some of these accessibility tools are also available under the Review menu. These include, again, the Read Aloud feature, as well as the Translate feature, which allows you to have a document translated into multiple languages. There is also the Speak Selected Text feature under the Review menu, which looks like a dialog bubble with a rightward facing arrow. This allows you to highlight a word or a phrase and have it read aloud, as opposed to having the entire text read aloud. This can be a very useful feature for those learning English as an additional language if you are uncertain how a certain word or phrase is pronounced. Now let's look at the speech-to-text features. One can dictate documents instead of typing them. The Dictate button is available on the right-hand side of the screen on the toolbar and looks like a blue microphone. Click on this and it reveals another toolbar with a smaller microphone. You click on this and then you can dictate your text into the computer, comma, making sure to say out loud the punctuation you wish to insert, semicolon. Otherwise, you will need to go back later to insert the desired punctuation, period. There's also a transcribe feature, which allows you to upload audio into Word and have it converted into text. This can be a very useful feature if you are recording your professor's lectures instead of taking written notes. If you do wish to dictate documents aloud without disturbing other library users, consider using one of the library's group study rooms, which are on the fourth floor and can be booked for two hours at a time. Now let's look at the Immersive Reader. This has many features. You can adjust the width of the column of the text. 
you can change the background color of the page. You can create a window to provide line focus on one or several lines. There's also text spacing to open up the appearance of the text to make it look less dense, and you can break the words and sentences up by syllables. And there is, again, the read aloud feature. Let's look at each of these in turn. One can adjust the column from very narrow to narrow to moderate to wide to adjust the appearance of the text. You can choose different background colors. With line focus, you can select one line, three lines, or five lines to create a floating window that may be moved up and down the document to eliminate the distraction of additional text. One can increase the spacing or break it up into syllables to improve readability. Again, the Read Aloud feature is also available under the Immersive Reader. The features we've considered so far are as they appear in the desktop client version of Microsoft Office products, but they are also available in Office 365 Online. We see here that the Immersive Reader is available in Word 365 Online under the View tab. It includes the same features that we saw before as well as an online dictionary. There's also the Tell Me What You Want to Do feature. If you don't recall under what tab these features appeared, you can simply search for them here next to the light bulb icon. For example, you can search for Transcribe, Dictate, Read Aloud, etc. Now let's consider the accessibility features in the Microsoft Edge browser. The Read Aloud feature is built into the browser and looks exactly the same as it does in Office, the large capital A with the sound waves emanating off to the right. There's also a font size changer which is available as a downloadable extension, which will again improve the readability of the text and this looks like a large capital A with a plus sign. Edge has voice options as well for its text-to-voice feature. Under the different voice options, you can choose voices with different accented speakers, either male or female, as well as to have the text translated into multiple languages. Finally, there is the Microsoft Editor, that is available in Edge as well as Office 365 Online. This is an artificial intelligence powered writing assistance that can offer basic grammar and spelling suggestions as you type and works with more than 20 languages. It's built into 365 Online but is also available as an extension in Microsoft Edge. If you require additional accessibility support for Office products, you can contact Microsoft through the Be My Eyes app that connects blind and low vision users with volunteers for visual assistance through a live video call, as well as chat or over the phone, or they offer an American Sign Language assistance supported by video phone. In conclusion, Microsoft Office programs installed and with 365 Online include many tools that enhance accessibility by making documents and web pages more readable and easier to navigate. These tools may be helpful for users with physical or visual impairments or learning disabilities, and also may be useful for users who are learning English as an additional language. Accessibility tools may be added to the Quick Access Toolbar at the top of the screen or discovered through the Tell Me What You Want to Do search bar. The Microsoft Edge browser also includes accessibility and multi-language features. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Michael Dudley, the Accessibility International and Extended Services Librarian. Thank you very much for listening.